Anyway, you're on the run, you don't have a whole lot of cash, and uh, you're hungry. Where do you go? Well, our VTV cameramen and women cover a lot of territory across the Lower Mainland and pretty much know every culinary nook and cranny. Well, tonight in the first of our three-part series, cameraman Al Cohen takes us to Burnaby and one of his favorite spots for cheap eats. Cruise down East Hastings in Burnaby just about any night of the week and you'll probably spot this line of people. It can only mean one thing. You've just discovered Anton's pasta. Very spicy. Our greatest uh, asset is uh, the lineup. I mean, people drive by here and they see the lineup and wonder what's going on. Um, word of the mouth is the biggest advertising. Lineup is the biggest thing that helps out. Now I'm not trying to make this sound like a commercial. I have to try and keep up my journalistic integrity here, but I feel the world should know about this incredible pasta deal. This is like 22, 24 ounces of pasta. Per weight, we have the biggest uh, sizes in town. We give out 20 ounces at dinner time, 20 ounces of pasta alone, plus the sauces and ingredients that go with it. Now that's a whole lot of pasta. Here's where this place becomes a great deal. The price for a plate of pasta at dinner time is between $11.95 and $12.95. Then factor in how big it is. It's too big. Well, let's just say they nearly guarantee huge leftovers. I'll take the rest home and eat for the next week. 99% of the people that come in here are not able to, to, to finish their food. We pack and we do a tremendous uh, amount of packing jobs from, for customers and stuff like that. Oof. Oh. I, I think that's, that's uh, I think that's tomorrow's dinner. Oh. Yes, even I lost a battle to a plate of fruity damar. Oh, my eyes are bigger than my tummy. And I'm not alone. Now, are you ever able to get through a whole meal by itself? Yeah, right. <laughs> Me and the rest of the family, maybe. Do you think you ever will? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they give you, you're going to be taking it home for at least two or three more meals. There you go. Be really careful with that. It's really full. Thank you very Coffee, much. Cappuccino, latte, uh, no, dessert. that's it that's for me. For thank, you. thank you very much. So I joined the other patrons as they headed off into the night with tomorrow's lunch. In Burnaby, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. Yeah, it was quite a pasta. I'm getting uh, hungry now. he had. Yes. What was it? Rudy Damar. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, these guys take great pictures. Anyway, we're going to have uh, more tomorrow. In fact, we're going to head to another favorite place to feed with one of our superb BTV shooters. And we get a great bunch of them here. It's the second stop on our guided tour of cheap eats here in the Lower Mainland. Our VTV shooters spend their days on the road and know just about every eatery from Richmond to the Valley. Well, tonight, cameraman Dave Alexander takes us to one of his favorite places to fill up. Dave Alexander, are you out there? This is the newsroom. You out there? You're probably familiar with his truck, but you won't be with the man behind the wheel. His name, Dave Alexander, one of VTV's top photographers. He's a busy man, and he even occasionally gets... Lunch? You're kidding. Okay, right away. And when Dave's hungry... Hi, welcome to Fresco. There's only one choice. I have uh, one of your famous mushroom burger platters. You like a double or a single? I think I'll have a double. It's you awful like cold out there today, yeah. yeah. Could there be anything better than a Fresco's mushroom burger on a cold day? Okay, enjoy. Walter Wolf owns both the Vancouver and Surrey locations. I'm in business now 26 years, and that's how long I cook hamburgers. <laughs> but lots of people, lots of people. And how many of them mushroom burgers every day? Well, could be two, three hundred. Two, three hundred? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of burgers. Yeah, that's a, that's, yeah, we are famous for it. Famous for it, all right. Just check out the anticipation on Dave's face. I would say I use half a pound, half a pound of mushrooms. Here we use up on a day up to three, four hundred pounds of mushrooms per day. But what's the secret? What we do with the mushrooms, we put a little bit garlic on, not too much, but it brings out the flavor of the mushrooms. A little bit garlic, and we got here a little bit water. We're steaming. Dave's not alone in his love of the mushroom burger. Usually finish the whole platter? Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> because I enjoy it so much. 
I just really like mushrooms. Oh, definitely, yeah, I do. That's why I come back here all the time. Now, a few minutes later... Number 197, your mushroom burger is ready. Dave's lunch is at hand. Hey, go on, sir. Oh, that looks terrific, Walter. Thank you very much. Enjoy your meal. Okay. okay I've been waiting for this since 6 o'clock this morning. But as fate would have it... Hi, Greg. Fire where? Okay, I'm on my way. Can I get this to go? In Surrey, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. I see a pattern, though, with these cheap eats. Quantity, that's yeah, the key seems for these to be. cameramen. They need a lot of energy, a lot of carbos, a lot exactly. of Exactly, I guess protein. we work them pretty hard here. For a continuing series, you know, they work hard, they certainly eat big. The photographers are VTV, of, are who we're talking about here, and we figured who better to know the secret uh, to cheap eats here in the Lower Mainland. So we sent videographer Alan Cohen to follow his fellow photogs <laughs> to their favorite foods. Now that is a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> It's nighttime in the big city. Patrolling the streets in search of breaking news is VTV videographer Gary Tapp. Yeah, base just let you know I heard that call on Channel 4. I'm heading over there. Gary has worked the city beat for over 15 years. His job requires him to be ready to go at all times, and that doesn't leave much time for lunch. Most days it's a drive through but when he needs a more substantial meal... When I'm really hungry, I go up to Bill Key's over on Broadway. Really good food, reasonably priced, they're quick, and it's delicious, plain and simple, I love it. Yes, Bill Key Restaurant. For 20 years now, it's been a favorite of night owls, police, and TV news photographers. For Gary, there's no need for a menu. Thank you. Good. Uh, chicken, green pepper, black bean sauce, chow mein, no MSG. Diet Pepsi. Great, thank you. Mere moments later in the kitchen. Jimmy Lau bought the restaurant from his uncle, Bill Key, in the early 1980s. The recipes we have is the same recipe for 20 years. People come by today, it tastes like this, and they come by 20 years later, it still tastes the same. And what are the customers like? They drive, you know, some really beat up pickup trucks, and, and yet at the same time, some customers, um, I have three customers drive Rolls Royces, and they all come in here and they enjoy the food they come because of the, you know, what we're doing, I suppose. So that's one thing I'm proud of, just a restaurant for everybody. Well, I've been coming to Bill Key for about 11 years, and uh, I could always say that I'm going to get uh, probably the best food in the city as far as Chinese food at a good price and a good amount of food to satisfy you for probably the day. I often come here late after work and the food is warm and good and it's always a friendly place. Sometimes the police are here too, it makes you feel more comfortable. Good, how are you doing tonight, Jimmy? Good to see you. Yeah, another well, delicious meal? Well, delicious, so as usual. Not bad for a 20 minute meal break and under eight bucks. We always here. The lights are on. And how was dinner? It was delicious. It was worth waiting all week to come here for dinner tonight. But unfortunately, work calls. On West Broadway, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. <laughs> Tomorrow night, our shooter Susie takes us to one of her favorite haunts for eating on the run. It'd be interesting to see what Susie has. Now, from cheap flights to cheap eats, tonight, camera woman Susie Wassenchuk takes us to her favorite restaurant for that meal on the run. This week, we've focused on the cameraman. Hello, Wayne. Oh, hi, Susie. How are you? Good, how are you? But what about the camera women? Meet Susie. My very favorite place to go is Fujia uh, because it's really inexpensive, it's fresh, and it's really fast. Probably the inexpensive thing is the most important part because I actually have six children. Six children? I have three of my own and three stepchildren. Um, they're not all at home. A couple are away at university. Three of them adorn her truck. That's Brooklyn, Wyatt, and Rhett. And Rhett's in trouble. I told you to stop bugging Brooklyn. You're going to have to stop that, Rhett. Family matters aside, now it's time for lunch. Fujia is on the corner of Clark and Venables. Parking's on the side of the building. I wonder if these guys know about the place. Anyways, many think this is just a Japanese supermarket, but the informed connoisseur knows about the sushi and bento case. I usually like to go 
with just these some kind of sushi roll. And look, it's only three twenty-five. This is great. I love this. It's good and it's cheap and it's fresh. It's economical. Five bucks and you're full. It's tasty. It's cheap and it's healthy. People say it's convenient because it's tiny and you can like sushi and stuff, it's finger food. So people eat it on the go. Bye bye. Now for a news photographer, wow. eating in their truck gotta make this quick. Is like eating at your desk. Mm. And it's easy while parked. Yeah, Susie, you can forget lunch. We need you for an interview. But Susie has it mastered, fork in hand while driving. It's a lot easier eating this in the car than it is eating a hamburger. Oh, oh no. That's the dangers. <laughs> it's falling apart. Sometimes you have to read a map book, talk on the phone, and eat. For Susie, oh. it's just another day at the office. Yeah, yeah. In East Vancouver. Yeah, hello, hello. Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. It's been a great series mm -hmm. by Alan Cohn and our sometimes well-fed camera people. <laughs>